Hey everybody, it's Patrick Star. Welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to do the fall favorites tagged, created by Jaclyn Hill. Hey girl, how you doing? And I saw Manny do it, and then I saw Young Wild Unpolished Nicole do it today, I think. And I was like, yo, I need to roll on this bandwagon because I've been tagged three times. So, to prevent me getting tagged furthermore, I have pulled my favorite things for the fall, and I will pull up the questions here on so-and-so's channel. How you guys doing today? How you guys doing? I'm doing great, thanks for asking. Today I'm kind of rocking a Kelly Osbourne inspired look. I didn't even know. My top is from, I was gonna say Walmart. My top is from Forever 21, and my necklace, my mom got it from Walmart. It's like a really cute, but that's a necklace from Walmart. And this kind of reminds me of like Kelly Osbourne's outfit at the Knicks Face Awards finale. And then this wig, it depends on what lighting it is. I feel like this wig is, I'll tell you what it is in a second. I know you guys are probably like, where is that wig from? I will tell you, just give me one second. So this wig on FaceTime, when I'm FaceTiming in like yellow lighting in my beauty room, the wig looks purple. So now in front of these lights, I think I'm looking at my monitor now, the wig looks gray. So I guess it depends on which lighting that that you're in, but um, on FaceTime with my friend, she said it looks like um, lavender. So anyways, this wig is from Wow African, like wowafrican.com. It is amazing. It came like down to here originally. It was like really, really curly, but I don't know. I feel like I look fishier when the hair is like blowed out and dried. I'm used to having long wigs, but I decided that I would trim it because I straightened it and then I was like snip 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 and then I kind of was going for a sort of lob effect like a long bob that's layered so um someone said to cut the bang shorter but I just I'm afraid I get too scissor happy so if you're a hairstylist in Orlando or LA and you want to play with this wig and make it look cute like hit me up down below but anyways let's just get right into the tag but again the link to this wig will be down in the bottom bar and it is Gorgeous. My lips, by the way, before you guys ask, is Spice Liner and Anastasia's Dusty Rose. I just forgot to mention. First question of the fall favorites tag. I think this is the first ever tag. This is my 101 video on my channel. This wig is slipping off because I am sweating. I feel like that head bitch, like, mm hmm. You may enter, yes. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. The first fall favorites tag question is, what is your favorite candle? My favorite candle is, I don't have a fall, a specific fall candle. I like things that smell really, really sweet and mm, just like I can eat it. And I always burn them at night and then next thing you know, I'm nibbling on some Rice Krispies or pumpkin pie. But I have two candles here from Yankee Candle. I bought these a while back because they had like their semi-annual sale. So I bought, this one is an awesome candle. This one is... Um, the Pure Radiance by Yankee Candle. It's called Crackling Cream Brulee, and it's awesome, and it's really potent. Um, I don't know if it's because it has, like, a thick wick, you know? A th that sounds really wrong, but it has a thick wick, um, and it's, like, a bamboo wick, and I think it just, it smells like, it honestly just smells like a strong vanilla, like a really strong vanilla. I love the smell. Um, I'm not really into pumpkin that much. I'm more into like cinnamony apples um, and like dessert scents. And then this other one, it's not a holiday scent either because I didn't really specifically go out to get a holiday candle, but I had candles that I bought like two months ago when I was decorating the beauty room. Um, I got this um, moon pie, whoopie pie, and buttercream, and this smells, it just smells like chocolate and it smells so. I just want to scoop it and eat it. Those two candles I love from Yankee Candles. Sorry, I'm not on the Bath and Body Works train right now like everybody else because I haven't been there in so long and it's also addicting. So next, my favorite lip color um, for the fall is this color right here and also I have two colors. Where are they? So I have these two colors right here. They are by Anastasia Beverly Hills or the Liquid Lipstick. Sorry, there's like lash glue all over this because it's everywhere with me. This is um, Dusty Rose, which is what I'm wearing with Spice Liner. I love this color. It's a nice deeper pink that's wearable for the daytime. So I'll wear this and I'm in Florida, so it's not really like a bold thing to wear lips throughout 
you know a hot day here during the fall and winter but I love this color it's a really wearable color if you're a bride if you're a homecoming queen a homecoming king um a queen um a princess this is like an amazing color for clients for the fall and I recommend this for your kit if you're a professional makeup artist because it lasts all day um, the second color that I love is Heather's by Anastasia Beverly Hills as well. And um, Claudia, when she sent this to me, she was like, I'm going to send you this color. She sent this to me before they launched, just to like, I'm going to send this to you. And I remember her giving it to me, and she was like, this color is you. It's Heather's. And I wore this last year. It was our, what was it? It was our boyfriend tag and our how to post for Instagram tag. Those are funny videos. Check them out. But I'm wearing this color in both those videos. And this color is a classic. I mean, like, I wanted to mention two colors one for the girls out there that want to wear a natural color for the fall winter and one that is a little bit more bold I know this is my favorites but I, I want to think about you guys because you guys like might want to try these colors out we got 10% this iPad is about to die um my favorite drink my favorite drink I was on Periscope and I was like what should I drink I don't really drink like I don't have like a Starbucks drink that I drink but I love eggnog but not the white people eggnog no offense i love coquito yes um my friend kehlani and bella makeup by bella on instagram they got me into coquito so it's an alcoholic eggnog and it's so good and it's a puerto rican eggnog it's just so delicious so if you're puerto rican and you're in la or in orlando hit me up and i will buy a bottle of coquito from your abuela or your mamita for me. So Feliz Navidad. Um, I love Coquito. It's so, so good. My favorite blush for fall. It's by MAC. Um, I wear a lot of makeup, if you guys didn't already know. I love piling on cake and powder. My hair spun all over my face. So I feel like a blush that really sits on top of everything because some blushes don't stick to my face. I don't know why I'm getting so technical, but I just feel like I have to explain myself for you guys without my wig falling off. But anyways, I feel like blush has to stick onto my powder because it's like powder, powder. If I wear like a normal powder blush, it kind of just sits on top. Unless I spray Fix Plus, let it set, and the, the skin becomes sort of tacky, and then I can apply blush, but ain't nobody got time for that, not me. So a blush that does stick on top of powder that I love is a Mineral Blush by MAC. And this one is in the color Lovejoy. It's a beautiful dusty rose color with flecks of gold. It is so pretty, and it goes with everything. I think it's that nice, warm, golden pink from a skin tone like mine. It can go for any skin tone. Um, it could be a highlighter for the darker girls out there. I love this color and it's the color Love Joy and it's by MAC. It's my baby. Uh, I feel like this video is going to be boring. Let me pose to give you some visual interest. Okay, next, my favorite clothing item. Well, here in Florida, it is hot. It is hot. Jacqueline knows. I, I understand when she was saying that it's not really hot, but I do love a good leather jacket, what she mentioned. But for me, I love a good poncho. For my big girls out there, I love me a good poncho. <laughs> Manny makes fun of me for these damn ponchos. Talk shit, get hit! I love ponchos because it flatters my body and it's nice and wispy and it has to be the good the good kind. So I have two ponchos here that, that I love. I haven't worn them yet. I will wear them soon. Spoiler alert, I think I might be wearing this in New York this week. I will be at Gen Beauty. If I see you guys this weekend, I will be with Benefit. I can't wait to see you guys. I'll be having a meet and greet with Manny. Um, but anyways, this poncho is so cute. It's like this, oh, it's like, it matches my hair. It's like a cute Aztec print, and it kind of just, it's like nice and flowy, but it's not too thick. It's not too hot for um, a place like Florida, and I love it because it's just the right amount of coverage, and you can kind of like dress it up or down um especially with anything like jeans dark jeans light jeans and i do have this other one which i also got from target as well yes i shop at target i am not embarrassed i am a proud member of target this is kind of like a picnic blanket one i could wear this with like a black um v-neck and some maybe blue jeans and some knee-high boots i love this and it's cute and it has a cute little black fringe i love a good poncho and for my big girls out there i love a good vest this vest i got at target as well and it was only i think how much was it 
it was 30 bucks it was 30 bucks and it looks like real fur but it's fake i have one in a blush pink and i have one in a white and then i got another one from forever 21 forever ago in black and i love these because it's a nice way to dress up without looking too too hot so those are my and this was not sponsored by target but hey target if you want to holler at me and you know drop a little gift card then let me know but anyways um i love target they have great stuff um, like over overcoat stuff, but those are my favorite clothing items for fall, which are basically over overlays. My favorite fall movie would have to be hands down Home Alone with Macaulay Culkin. I don't know what it is. It it's so nostalgic for me. Like it brings me back to when I was a little kid folding, you know, socks and underwear with my mom. Like when we lived in New York. Um, I'm from Queens and Astoria, by the way, so I don't know, just, and moving here, it just, I think it's the composition of the music that makes me feel so at home. Um, what's, how does this, how does the song go? Oh my gosh, I love it! Oh! I feel like I'm 10. I literally feel like I'm 10 and it just, I just want to snuggle up in like a blanket and like, I don't know, like sip hot chocolate and lay on my mom's lap. I don't know. I just, it just, I just love that movie so, so much. I know it's a Christmas movie, but it's like my fall movie. It's not like a Halloween movie, but like fall, like Thanksgiving, Christmas, that is my movie. Home Alone. One, two, and three. Or one and two. The ones with Macaulay, the ones with Macaulay Culkin. What is my favorite fall TV show? I have to confess, I don't have a favorite fall TV show. Unlike some people like Manny, I don't get invested in a show that much. I love reality. I know it's trashy, but I just love it because I don't know. I feel like I can, I learn a lot, like what not to say, how not to act. I don't know. I just, I just love reality. I love talent shows. If you know me, I'm super gay. I love X Factor. I love American Idol. I love America's Next Top Model. Those type of shows that are like feel good shows make me feel good. I love Cinderella shows. If it's like TLC, Makeover Story back in the day, The Swan, I love those type of shows. So anything in the fall that's like giving back, like reality um, holiday shows, like, oh, Extreme Makeover Home Edition, like those shows that give back to the community, those are the type of shows that I really, really watch. And also like holiday specials, like the Christmas Parade and all that. Yeah, I don't have a specific show series, but I do love reality shows that give back, that exemplify um, transformation, like a Cinderella story, and also parades. That's me. Okay, how are you gonna ask the big girl what is her favorite Thanksgiving food? So I have a lot of Thanksgiving food favorites because I am a big girl. I would have to say stuffing. And it's quite embarrassing because like throughout the year, I swear I'm a pregnant woman throughout the year because I'll crave stuffing randomly. And I watch this chick. She's amazing. If you guys ever get hungry, she's an amazing cook. I think she's 24 years old. Her name is Laura Vitali here on YouTube. I am a huge fan of her. So if you guys can tell her that I love her, Patrick Star loves you. Like I would die like she lives in jersey and she's a cook she has her own cooking show so i went on her channel and i found the stuffing recipe she has a really great stuffing recipe it's so good i i season it up real good i chop a lot of vegetables i like a really chunky hearty stuffing and it's so good with any meal and if i see it in a restaurant i will get it if we go out together best believe my ass don't get stuffing my favorite halloween costume would have to be last year's costume. Okay, so last year, I was Dorothy for Halloween and Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz. And I remember just telling this as a joke in text with like Desi, Crispy, and Alex. And I was like, I think I told Crispy and I was like, Crispy, we should be, um, we should be The Wizard of Oz just for fun, like shits and giggles. And then I think Crispy came back and she texted me and she was like, dude, we should really do it for Anastasia's Halloween party. And I was like, no, are you kidding? And she was like, yeah, do it. And I was, I was like, okay, I want to be the lion. Because, you know, I have, like, those big wigs for my drag tutorial. Um, and she was like, um, no, you should be Dorothy. And I was like, 
me Dorothy no and she was like yeah you should totally be Dorothy and then she was the tin man Desi was the lion and Alex Faction was the scarecrow that by far I've never done a group costume and I've never done Halloween up until last year like, by myself like an adult Halloween and this being at the Anastasia um, Halloween party and also in LA I've never done Halloween outside of Orlando and that has to have been like one of my favorite costumes ever I Oh, and that completes the fall favorites tag. I hope you guys enjoy this. I hope it wasn't boring. Like, that's why, it, this is the thing. If you want to get to know me, whenever I do talking videos, whether it be a favorites, um, if, if you guys look throughout my channel, if I have something that's more so talking, I change up my look so it's more visually enticing. I don't know if it, if it like, fucks with your head or not but for me I think I don't know I personally don't watch talking videos that much so for someone that is always visually stimulated I want to change up to keep your guys' attention throughout the video and I hope you guys enjoy me talking more I love you guys so much and who am I going to tag I the I'm gonna tag all of you guys by the way thank you for 400,000 subscribers Thank you so much! I'm just so excited and I have my apartment in LA and I know my Orlando people, I love you guys. I will be back. Um, I know I said I was going to do a meetup at 400000 but I have so much work in the month of October. I'm going to Fort Lauderdale this week, Miami, uh, no, Fort Lauderdale, Miami, New York, and then I'm going to be going back to LA. So I really couldn't find time to do a meet and greet, but when I hit 500000 I will, I promise, I will have a meet and greet here in Orlando, and I hope all of you guys can make it. I want to meet all of you, um, and Orlando is my hometown. Maybe we could do Disney together or downtown Disney. That would be freaking epic. Um, anyways, thank you guys so much. I tag all of you, and check out the other people that I will be tagging down below. I love you guys so much. Please subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!